Yeah, very impressed. Um, I was, I've been up since Thursday, um, staying up, so sort of training with the guys on Thursday night and then um, obviously first game today, but first I came down on Friday and had a look at the stadium and the gaffer and stuff and um, all the work they're doing round about and stuff, it's brilliant, so I'm really impressed with it. A bit of baptism of fire really up against the Premiership side and a very good win in Ross County, but I mean, scorelines don't really count for very much in these games, it's all about getting minutes under the belt, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose that's it. It's the most important thing is getting um, fitness out of the games, but it's always disappointing to get beat um, by, well, by a few goals anyway. So. Um, but no, it's the most important thing, as you say, is getting fitness from these games and gearing up for the start of the season. It's, I had COVID, so um, basically I've been isolated for I was isolated for ten days. So my first day out was Thursday, so I travelled up my first day out, trained, and then um, played today. So obviously I've been for the last two weeks or so I've not been able to do anything. So. I've been struggling a wee bit, so obviously 60 minutes was enough for me today, I think. What's the most important thing? How are you feeling now after that? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just uh, obviously getting the fitness back up to where it was, because you don't, it surprises you how much you actually lose um, in a short period of time, but um, that would have done me the world of good today. I anyway. will have good games are coming up pretty fast now, I think, to be honest, about twice a week. Um, but that's a good thing as well. Boys will be up to match speed in no time. Um, we want to get into all the cup games and... Um, do as well as we can, but as you say, the most important things is the 1st of July, I think, as against Trimra, that's the most important one. Do you know any of the guys at all in the, in the squad, when you? Um, I know of them playing against them, um, but I didn't know them personally. Um, but Jinky doesn't live too far from me, so um, we'll be travelling up together and whatnot. So, so what persuaded you to come to Elgin City? Obviously, it's a, you're a, a Glasgow-based guy, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm just um, Brookfield, just outside Paisley, I stay, so... Um, just speak to the gaffer, to be honest. Um, as soon as I had the first conversation with him, I think my mind was pretty much made up. Because um, obviously you, you made a good impression with Stan Hensmeyer, yeah. and I think your performance has forced any persuaded Gavin to make the move for you. Yeah, I think so. I think that um, he said he'd been looking at me for about a year or so. So, um, But I, um, one, of better, one of my better games was actually against Elgin as well, so I think that probably helped me. But um, Stan wanted to keep me, but I think um, just after speaking to the gaffer, and, um, Everything else was just steps. That was me. I was saying, coming in. They've been knocking on that promotion door for a, a little while now. Got to the playoffs last season. Uh, they want to make that big move up to, to League One, and it's been it's been a base for them so far. You, you, you feel confident you can play a part in another challenge? Yeah, definitely. I think um, that's got to be the aim this season. We've always for the last few years, anyway, they've came close, um, and this year especially, we've got. I think we're going to have a great chance of going up. Yeah.